So, Otaka Shifna, welcome to the podcast. How's it going today? Hello, Etienne. It's, first of all, uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to, to be here. And what's going on today? It's like, it's, it's a kind of a difficult question because there are so many <laughs> things going on right now. Just this week, we had an exciting visit from a German trader uh, who might help us to uh, do a seminar for German traders next month. And also this week was interesting. Yeah, we are launching just a, not a new website, just updates on our website, but a major update. And just yesterday in the evening, I booked tickets to Singapore because in Singapore we have quite a lot and quite good traders. So I would like to meet them personally. So this is in short what happened this week. That's awesome. So in case you guys didn't guess it yet, I'm sitting out today with uh, the founder of FTMO. And we'll talk about kind of um, what that, that firm is about, a little background about trading, uh, is lessons the learning trading and stuff in the past. So tell people kind of like a bit of background about yourself, things that I didn't mention yet. Hmm, how about myself? So uh, I've just turned 30. Uh, I was raised and born in Prague, which is the capital city of the Czech Republic. Czech Republic is a small country next to the Germany. Uh, I have a master's degree in economics, not that it, it is important, but it kind of helps uh, if you do trading and if you do business, it kind of sometimes opens the door to some people and you have just a uh, general knowledge of what you should do. And yeah, about five years ago, we started, uh, we started FTMO. Not that it's called FTMO, but we have also a Czech project, which is absolutely the same as FTMO. But uh, FTMO is about two years old, but we do the traders funding for about five years in the Czech and in the Slovak Republic. Nice. So awesome. that's about short. If you're interested about my personal life, I... Uh, I did many sports when I was growing up. I was uh, doing semi-professional tennis, which also I like about trading that uh, individuals, it's like an individual sport that you cannot uh, blame someone else for, for your mistakes. It's, all, it's just all about you. So all right. this is what I like about trading and also about individual sports like tennis and so on. Nice. So where did the idea of finding a prop firm to fund traders came from? Actually, it was from our own need because about five years ago, maybe it's more, it's about six years ago, we started an office with my friends where we traded uh, futures, forex and CFDs. And even though we traded quite well, we didn't have enough capital to make our trading really serious. serious. Uh, we saw there are other uh, funding companies, other proprietary, remote proprietary trading firms, but in our view, they have some uh, limiting rules, or it didn't fit to our uh, to, didn't fit to our trading style. So for this reason, and also we saw there is uh, no similar uh, company in the Czech Republic and in the Slovakia. So we decided to uh, to start our own. It took us about two years to launch our Czech project, but it, because uh, it, is, <laughs> it is quite difficult to, uh, to launch a similar uh, prop firm. So it took us two years just to, just to be uh, ready from the technical perspective. Yeah, so one thing back about when I began trading in 2013, there was like pretty much no prop firm mm -hmm. around, or maybe like a few, like one or two, but not many that were available and funding traders. So that's pretty awesome. I think people these days, have a lot more available to them to be able to be funded. Yeah, and also uh, the uh, funding companies, they have different rules for funding. So uh, traders can choose uh, a trading company which, uh, which is more suit su suitable for their trading style. So not that every funding company is the same. So I think this is good for also, this is good for traders. Mm -hmm, for sure. You told me before we went on the interview that you come kind of always talking about trading like every day, all the time, Take, talking about mm -hmm. trades, about trading and stuff. So what do you talk about on a daily basis? The most popular is DAX. Uh, DAX is a German stock index and 
probably uh, for the for the reason that uh, it opens at 8 a.m., which is in our time zone. So for this reason, it is probably the most popular market for uh, traders uh, in our company uh, and also for uh, European traders. And yeah, we talk about trading ideas, what's going on. We have Algo Trader here in the office. We have a fundamental trader. You probably know him, Pavel. He's the head of the uh, English uh, English support. So he trades fundamentals. There is a guy who trades Martingale. I'm trading statistics. So we have just so many strategies and we just, uh, we don't agree on trades. Like, there is a, no single trade or a single direction where we agree like that it's going up. Someone is saying that it's going down and, and so on. So even though they are sitting in the same office, no one is trading the same strategy. Everyone has seen his own style. <laughs> that, that's interesting. That, that's kind of true about trading. So what is your kind of trading style, if you can say? My trading style is... Uh, little bit different than I guess is uh, typical for typical now for trading. I have no indicators. I uh, just follow, uh, I've creating trading expectation based upon statistics. For example, that for example, today uh, it might be a probability that we might uh, break previous days high and it this probability might have, for example, 80, 80%. So if I have this probability, if I calculate it, I'm just going long, I'm not shorting. I also have a great, uh, great target, which is the previous day's high. And did knowing, because in, in trading, let's be honest, you never know what's going to happen. And this, uh, and this fact, you can actually calculate something, it gives you, Oh, or it gives me micromanage my trades and I don't need to just, I just enter the trade. I know where I want to enter, where I want to exit. So uh, this is my trading style. I just, uh, I'm forming my trade decisions based, based upon statistics. And for the entry, I use just a simple price section. Which is really nice because you don't have to worry about Anything other than numbers, which and numbers are always kind of right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yes, yes. If you if you do the math correctly, then you have exact answer. It's what I like because uh, trading is all about opinions, all about intuition. But when you can calculate something, it's just a huge relief for me. Where do you find these statistics? I'm curious. I'm really curious now. <laughs> uh, also, uh, to it's uh, it's not my idea to trade uh, to trade statistics. I was uh, inspired by we probably know him. It's a trading superstar and uh, well uh, and very successful trader. His name is Futures Trader Seventy One. He's is uh, very famous in trading, and he kind of. Uh, had a webinar on how to create expectations based upon statistics. So what you need, uh, what you need to form or to calculate statistics, you just need a reliable data, Excel or a Python, where you can calculate these statistics. It's, it's kind of easy. You just need to form a question which you need to answer. So uh, this is how, how I calculate it. And also, I have created a statistical application, which is uh, which is free for all our traders or anyone who joins uh, the FTMO. Okay, nice, cool. So I get a lot of people that reach out to me either on YouTube, on social media, and a lot of people ask the same thing. They ask me, uh, "Is FTMO a good funding platform or a good place to be funded?" And I thought I would get to answer because I've never used FTMO <laughs> myself. But what will you answer to those people? <laughs> I think that we are the best, actually. And we are trying uh, very, very hard to be uh, the, best, uh, the best firm. We are trying uh, or we are just doing technically everything. Uh, I think we just 
doing everything so that we are the best in the case of uh, technical support, applications, uh, even uh, which is also very important, supports to, uh, to just a client support so that every so that all the time is someone in the office and is able to answer questions of our clients. So if someone asks uh, if we are good, I think we are the best ones. Nice. And <laughs> what differentiates you from other platform to be funded? Like uh, I'm thinking about maybe top step about um, th th this is two of them, but top step that's going to be the five percenters. Mm -hmm. What is different? Uh, to be honest, uh, I do not start the competition. I uh, do not uh, check their rules every day, but I believe that our trading objectives or the trading rules are fair to uh, are fair to our traders. Or it motivates them. It gives them reasonable boundaries for trading, and also it is good for us investors. Uh, it's, a, it's giving us uh, opportunities to find really successful traders. Okay, so basically, provide them the right environment so that they're able to succeed. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We are not limiting anyone's trading style. And as I said uh, in the beginning or at the beginning, uh, the other trading companies might have a different rules, which might favor different trading styles. So the trader needs to do, uh, he needs to find information about, uh, about uh, how we provide, uh, about what trading objectives we are and what uh, trading rules they need to pass in our uh, in our competition. Do you allow people to trade anything, like any time frame, hold trades for however long they want, or are there some kind of guidelines for that? Uh, during the challenge and the verification, these are the two evaluation phases. We allow our traders to hold positions overnight and over the weekend, and we don't limit their trading styles at like. Nine that they, they can trade uh, algos, they can trade discretionary. That's up. Uh, that's completely up to them. And when they become the FGMO traders, we just want them to be flat uh, on Friday night, so that uh, we are not exposed to uh, we are not exposed to any news which might occur over the weekend. Okay, and you allow them to trade all the markets or. Anything, anything they find in the uh, in the MT4, MT5, or C Trader platform, they can trade. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. What What is like the process for someone looking to be funded now? Like they they, they see FTMO, they want to get financing from you. What kind of process do they have to go through? Okay. So, uh, in order to find. No, the FTMO is just about it's, uh, finding a tra uh, trading talent as we are financial backing uh, successful and profitable traders. But the question is, how do you find the profitable and successful one? For this reason, we have developed an evaluation process, which consists of two phases. The first one is called the challenge, and the second one is called the, is called the verification. These two are just uh, demo accounts, but they are very closely monitored. And in these two accounts, our traders have, uh, have the opportunity to demonstrate their trading skills and, uh, and then discipline in following the risk management rules. The risk management rules, or as we call them, the trading objectives, uh, there are five trading objectives they need to pass in order to become the FGMO trader. The first one is a maximum and it is overall loss. That's like a stop loss for an account. Then there is a required profit target. And also we want our traders to trade at least uh, 10 trading days in the given trading period. And lastly, we want them to be profitable at least in 50% of days they are trading. And that's it. And then do they get all the capital at once or they get kind of incrementally more capital in their account? Uh, right now we offer uh, five initial capitals from 
10,000 US dollars or 10,000 euro up to 100,000 dollars or 80,000 euro. So uh, there are no incremental, uh, like in incremental stages. They start uh, from the initial capital they, uh, they have chosen to trade the challenge. But also if they do well, we offer them a scaling plan, which uh, basically means that uh, every four months, if a trader do well and meets some trading conditions, we increase their risk parameters by uh, 25%. So I'm curious to hear, do you have any kind of success member or people that, are, that have been successful with uh, FTM that you can talk about and kind of share what they do and how things turn out for them? I think you can find on YouTube some videos uh, from our traders. You can also find about us on Forex Peace Army. There are kind of few reviews about us. And also uh, we have just uh, many reviews because every time someone receives, uh, someone receives a profit, profit share and is willing to give us a review, Sometimes uh, our clients send us an uh, article, which can be also found on our website. Oh, uh, just uh, when we were starting out, we, we thought that uh, the people would like to share their experience. It's going to be uh, like when someone uh, receives capital, they, will, they would want to create a video with us. They will uh, create an article for us, but uh, it's not like that people like to uh, protect their anonymity many times. So not many people are actually sharing uh, their, uh, their experience. But as I said, you can find definitely someone on YouTube and on uh, Forex Peace Army or on Forex Factory. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And since you mentioned the revenue share, what, what uh, share or revenue people get when they trade with your capital? they receive 70% of their profits. Nice, which is, uh, from what I've seen, higher than most other uh, companies. So I've seen people go from, or companies charge, so some companies give people from 20% to upward, but 20% is kind of the standard, from what I've seen. Oh, really? 20% uh, just, that's really low, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of low, but it depends, of course, by company. And I, like, I don't know all of them, but I know it starts, some starts at 20%. So, oh, I didn't know that. It's <laughs> just a quick fact. That's yeah. really low. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And I'm, I'm just curious, like, on, on the back end of things. So, and this might be something you want to answer or not, up to you, but where does that money come from? Oh, the capital. We have one very rich, uh, very rich investor. Oh. We have found when we are when we are starting uh, our Czech project, we are just like a normal startup. We went to a startup competitions. They are very popular right now in Europe. There is like every month there is a huge startup competitions. At first we didn't do well, but uh, we visited many of these uh, startup competitions, and after a while we have found a. Uh, investor who likes this idea, who believes this is a very good idea. And also the most importantly, we give him results. So for this reason, he's happy with us and he's providing us a capital for traders. All right. That, that's very interesting. So I would expect maybe capital will come from banks or something, but that's a uh, defense. No, no, no. That, that's I'm not sure about banks in the US, but banks in Europe are very conservative, like super conservative. There is no, I was, uh, when I was in, in the university, I was working at trading in, in one bank, uh, but it's not our trading. There is just no PNL. You just mm -hmm. execute, you just execute swaps and that's it. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice for people that are kind of not ready for FTMO now? Like they want to be able to, to build their skills to later get funding. What would you tell them to do right now? I would just definitely tell them if you are interested in uh, receiving funding in the future, just uh, go to our website. There is a free trial, which is absolutely the same as the challenge. It's 
And you can just train there. You will see if your trading fits into our funding parameters, into our trading objectives. And you can take as many free trials as you want without risking absolutely anything. So this is, that's what I would recommend. You, our, uh, the people who take free trial also receive a short uh, account analysis of their trading. So there is just... Uh, Nothing for them to lose. They can yes, try, they will see if FTM, if it's for them, if it's not for them, then they just can go somewhere else or trade their capital. Mm -hmm. That's because they can see what they have to work on a little bit more with the analysis of the account. Yes, absolutely. Right. Trading is uh, very difficult, so uh, you need to work on something like uh, every single day. But when you are starting out and when you are just uh, selecting the proper strategy or the developing the strategy which fits your personality, yeah, the free trial, it's just, uh, I think it's just the best tool where you can, uh, when you go uh, to uh, you are still monitored. You can go to the account metrics, which is the site when you can monitor your performance and you can see how you do. So you probably get a lot of feedback and that's a tough question, but you probably get a lot of feedback from people that try FTMO or maybe trade with you. What is the thing that most people complain about the most? To be honest, a the most complaints we received then, because we cooperate with, I think, 10 brokers right now, and the most complaints we received is uh, on brokers when they have uh, sometimes happened that uh, they have a freeze for about one or two minutes. So this is probably the most common, uh, most common complaint we receive. Then, then are we always uh, complaints about uh, when people do not understand or not understand, they usually do not read the trading objectives. This is uh, what we are usually need to, uh, which I need to touch with uh, or just that we are usually uh, like dealing with our traders. And what's the thing that you've seen people really love the most? About FTM. I think, yeah, it's uh, what they love about it's just the opportunity which uh, uh, which it, which FTMO gives you. That you, uh, if you do well, uh, if you do well, you can receive a really good money for trading to make the to make trading really serious. So uh, yeah, it's the opportunity to do what you love and to be your own boss. If you love trading and if you want to uh, dedicate to your your time, FTMO is, uh, I think, a good choice. And also uh, for people, if you want to take uh, if you want to take trading seriously, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. So I'm sure people can go on your website. They can read all the objective of the description and stuff. But yes, where can people find you? Like, if they want to connect with you or reach out, where can they find you? So uh, our website is ftmo.com. We also have a Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Trading View, we have YouTube, just you name it, just do the major social media, we have it and, uh, and we are also quite active there. Awesome, awesome. And what are your goals for the future? Oh, the goals is just, they are just a huge goals uh, to be at the best and the, the, the biggest proprietary, remote proprietary trading firm. Uh, I would like to have offices and trading rooms in many financial districts. And also, uh, we would like, like to stay transparent as we are right now and humble because uh, FTMO started from nothing. It's absolutely no overnight success. So we will just uh, work hard to keep it that way. And what's your motivation for this? I don't think that uh, it's a motivation. It's uh, like in the proper sense. Just, uh, I just don't, don't know how to answer that, but uh, I love what I do. I love the process of, uh, of what we do. Because if, you, if I look back at one year, FTMO was much smaller. We didn't have the opportunities which we have right now. So we will just keep working hard and 
Yeah, the motivation is uh, the main, the motivation is to, is to still develop the project and also uh, the environment we have in the FGMO because uh, we have uh, really good mathematicians. We have uh, really good algo and fundamental traders here in the office. So even though it is uh, kind of challenging to work here, it is a uh, huge fun to go to the office. And also I need to say that all the employees uh, are mostly from our clients and also from our local uh, funded traders. So they love the project. They love the opportunity which it, which it gives to uh, to traders. That's awesome. That, that's pretty good. So I guess if people get financing from you, they can also get involved in the business, which is, I think, really nice. Yes, yes. And also, we previously hired people from who didn't have the background in trading, but uh, right now, we just hire people uh, who love the trading and who love the FTM and the project behind it. So hmm. when they do it, they work uh, just work, uh, they work harder <laughs> and they uh, see the opportunity behind it. Awesome, I love that. So thank you, Otakar, it's been a pleasure to have you here on the podcast and on this interview, we'll put the links that you mentioned below, of course, for people to click them and, and follow you and reach out to you if they want. And uh, sounds good. So I appreciate this once again and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Etienne, and have a great day.